My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Look what we've got today. We got a 55 Chevy Bel Air Big block powered, 454 under the hood, a five speed sticking out of the hump. This thing's been body off, uh, body off frame restored. California car, the body's exceptional. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, take your time and study over 100 pictures. And that's where you find price tags on over 200 collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy our videos, Click on the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're notified as the new ones come out. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, the body's really nice. We'll get to that in a minute, but if you watch my videos, you know how I love a door that just clicks shut like that. This is nice. Uh, so yeah, there's an L in the VIN number. It's a Los Angeles built car. Uh, the body was off of the frame. The underbody is painted this color. It's smooth and glossy. The metal's beautiful. Uh, just really clean underbody. All the chassis and suspension is black. Uh, it was rebuilt, and I'm guessing there's about 10,000 miles on it. This is not a trailer queen, but it's nice. The components look like they've all been replaced. Bushings, shocks, uh, ball joints, all that good stuff. Uh, it does have... Uh, disc brakes in front with drilled and slotted rotors. The whole emergency brake cable systems all hooked up. Uh, the brake lines, brake hoses, you can tell those were replaced. Uh, it has a polished uh, fuel tank, the straps, the fuel lines, all that's been replaced. It has a nice uh, dual exhaust system that goes all the way out the back. You'll hear it at the end of the video. Uh, if you look up at the motor, it's painted the color of the car. It's a high torque starter. Uh, again, it's a, I said it's a, a five speed. It's a four speed that's in there. It's a Muncie wide ratio four speed. Uh, drive shaft looks like it had new U joints, has a stock rear end. So, again, under the car is really nice. The body, again, the nicest part of the car is the body. I just went around it. It's like, wow. <laughs> All the body panels fit perfectly square and flush. I mean, the way it lines up up here, it's about the best I've seen. The copper metallic is laid out evenly. This is all smooth, highly uh, glossy, and this is all real nice. I didn't see any problem areas, didn't see any issues. Look at the gap. Not only is it nice and square and, and uniform, but it's flush as well. And this is a pearl white. It's also laid out beautifully, uh, real pretty in person, smooth and glossy. This is all real nice. I don't see any problem areas, no bubbles. There is a chip on the very edge right here, a little chip there in the paint. This is all real nice, all looking good. There's a little, little line of blisters right there, just a thin line. Uh, has the fuel door trim, that's optional. New gas cap. <laughs> it's all looking really good. I mean, better than really good. This body and paint is outstanding. I know I've just said it 10 times. Little nick on the edge of the door, a tiny one. This is all sweet. In 2018, someone hired uh, an independent inspector to uh, appraise the car or inspect the car. I have that appraisal report several pages. I didn't read every bit of it, but it looked like it was very favorable. So body and paint we've established is outstanding because I've said it a hundred times. Now every piece of trim, all the stainless is straight and shiny. The chrome bases and the wipers are shiny. It's all been uh, probably replaced because it's all available new. Uh, the emblems, the entire grill is sparkling, the bumpers, the bezels, the lenses, all of that. The trim down the sides, dual mirrors, all this stuff is shiny. Door handles, all the trim, the Bel Air, tail lights. 
bumper, it's all redone or replaced. The glass is even all new. Every piece, even the rear window, all nice crystal clear glass. We'll open the trunk since it's coming around here. It's got a real nice trunk compartment. It's been boxed, nicely upholstered. Even the bottom of the trunk lid is upholstered. And then the floor is carpeted as a new trunk mat. The jam and hinges are painted nice as new hardware. Inside the car, we got some really poofy, genuine leather seats. Front and back are poofy. Has a fold down armrest. Both seats are power, both bucket seats. It has seat belts for everyone. The door panels are done, matches the trunk compartment exactly, so I'm sure they were done at the same time. All new handles and hardware, new headliner and visors, the dome light works. All the metal trim inside is all painted as slick as the car. I'm noticing the door jams are painted really slick too. Uh, new sill plates. 15 inch polished torque thrust wheels. Uh, they look like they're eight inches wide. So we got a 454 motor. It's got square port heads, Edelbrock intake, Edelbrock carburetor with an electric choke, HEI ignition, <clears throat> stock exhaust manifolds. Has some vintage style M uh, Mickey Thompson finned valve covers. And there's some chrome on it, the alternator, brackets, pulleys, power steering, AC compressor. It's all chromed. The chrome's not perfect, like the alternator has little tiny freckles in it. Uh, the brake booster and master, that's all chrome. That looks new. We'll get back to that. See how nice the door panels are. So again, the dash is all painted. It has nice billet trim as the stock style gauges, but there's a oil and temperature gauge mounted down below. It has a sparkling chrome tilt column with a beautiful steering wheel. Does have reproduction uh, Chevy rubber mats. The carpet's in good shape. They must have had a console. They changed something in the middle. Uh, there is a black carpet mat over the hump, and if you look underneath that, the carpet it's kind of cut up, so they must have had a console or they, they changed something there. It uh, looks like they used the original style heater control panel for the heat and air. There's just some small vents mounted below the dash for the air conditioning. Uh, so very nice inside too. I would throw some new carpet in here or put a console in it and that's it. This is a done car. And you got a big block, four speed, air, steering, brakes, California car, clean body. It's got a lot going for it. Beautiful car. That just shuts nice. Here we go. One finger. I'll barely push it. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Just drop the trunk and it closes and latches. One more. That's sweet. That makes my day. So I just gave you my impression of this 55 hot rod. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, make sure you ask. They'll help the best they can. They can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you get it financed. Start at volocars.com. If you enjoy our videos, which I hope you do, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.